My girlfriend is pregnant, and I'm only 15 years old. Hi, I'm Matt, and I want to talk to you about something that happened a couple years ago that changed my life forever. I remember I was in junior year, and we were all very stressed out because we didn't know who to invite to the prom. At that time, that was the most important thing. And since I was a basketball player, it was even harder because I had to pick the sexiest girl, and I was afraid of being rejected. One day during the internship, I saw a girl sitting there. She looked gorgeous and seemed not to fit in, and I knew that she was the one for me. I ended up as the worst player that day, and I thought I would die of shame. That's what brought us together. That's how she noticed me. Everything was very fast in our relationship, and we liked the same things, and we thought we were the perfect match. We kissed the first time that same afternoon, and two weeks later we were officially dating. I didn't know that much about sex, and I didn't really give any importance to contraceptives. This is why, more than once, we had unprotected sex. We did not believe that anything bad could happen to us, and we preferred not to think about the consequences. Of course, that was a terrible idea. Two months after we were together for the first time, my girlfriend called me very worried telling me that she had a pregnancy test and that was positive. I couldn't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. At first I was very annoyed, then I got even more frightened. I wasn't prepared to be a dad. This wasn't how it should be one of the best years of my life. Things did not disappear on the next day and I had to take care of this new situation. The hardest thing was to talk to my parents, who had a lot of plans for my life. And now all that was about to go in the garbage. Luckily, I plucked up courage and spoke to them because they immediately began to support me and no longer felt alone or lost. They explained to me all I had to do, so I finished my school year while working at night to get as much money as possible. And even though I didn't feel anything for my girlfriend, I never stopped supporting her, even when she didn't want to see me. The most troubling thing was the day she had to give birth. Since this day came two weeks early, and I don't know if I was prepared for what was coming. All my doubts disappeared when I saw my daughter, but I realized that my life would never be the same. My classmates didn't understand my new worries, and I could no longer talk to them about the same things. I had to work and study at the same time so I could take care of my daughter, and although things did not go as expected with my girlfriend, we were good friends, with a daughter in common. Now she is my reason to become a better person every day. And although sometimes I wonder how everything would have been if this had not happened, I always think I would not change anything I have now. I grew up as a person, and now I am a good man, a good father. This was not easy for me, and I'm sure everything would have been easier if I had someone to talk to about it. That's why I invite you to subscribe to this channel and find out more stories like mine and many of us, so you won't have to feel alone. I think my teacher is in love with me. We guys always say that we want to go out with a teacher, but this is a lie. Although the subject always comes out in conversations, the truth is, it is a simple game of children. No one really believes that these things can happen, or at least that's what I believed until the new school year began. I have always been very good at math, and thanks to the classes of my favorite teacher, Mr. Carl, I have been able to learn many things that will help me in the future when I become an engineer. This is why my life gave a 180 turnaround when I heard that Professor Carl was leaving my school. I spent many days thinking about this new change, knowing that I would not like it at all. I began to imagine this new professor as a monster, a teacher with no vocation or knowledge that ruined my dream of being the best engineer. I spent the whole summer thinking about the same thing. And when the classes started, I realized that I was completely wrong. Professor Carl's replacement was Miss Johnson, a newly graduated teacher but with a lot of knowledge and desire to teach. From the beginning, I knew that there was a connection between us, since I was always the first finishing the exercises and, when she asked a question, she stood looking at me waiting for my answer. Everything was quite formal. But after the first two months of classes, we were much closer. We shared books, talked about unproven theories, 
and even made more difficult exercises than those that corresponded in class. She used to explain a new method to me, and then give me some exercises to do at home, and after I made them, she would correct them. It was the best thing that could have happened to me, a young and beautiful teacher who really cared about me and who treated me in a special way. Even once, when the class finished, she put her hand in my arm and stared at me in a way I wouldn't even know how to define, but I definitely felt hypnotized by her eyes. My mind was so confused. And when it was over, at the end of the school year, I made the decision to clarify things with her and see if her feelings were the same as mine. That week, I took care of doing the extra exercises with more care and ended earlier, which gave me the perfect excuse to stay after classes and talk to her. When we finally stayed alone, I approached her, gave her the exercises, and when I was about to tell her how I felt about her, a call came into her phone. On the screen appeared the photograph of a boy my age, very similar to me, but I could not read the name. While she talked on the phone, my heart was deflating. That meant I was not special at all. When she ended the call, I asked who she was speaking to, and she told me that it was with her dad. And seeing my face of confusion told me that the photo was of her brother, who was now out of surgery and that everything had gone out apparently well, but they didn't know if the cancer had completely disappeared. She told me that, from one day she saw the similarities between us and could not help getting attached to me, since I reminded her of her brother before the illness. While she was looking for a current photo of her brother, I could not believe how foolish I was and told her that I had no time right now, but in the next class, we could see the photos. That's how I learned to make better conclusions. This is more common than a lot of you may think, but no one dares to take a step forward and tell their point of view. I invite you to share this video and reach many more people who may be going through the same. I desperately needed to have a boyfriend. I don't know if all teenagers go through the same problems, but I thought I was the only one around the world who was going through my situation. I'm 16 years old and I've never had a boyfriend. It may seem like something normal, even something silly, but when you're a girl and you've never had a boyfriend, it makes you feel like something is wrong with you. One night in a sleepover with my best friends came the subject of the boyfriends and I wanted to disappear. They were all talking about their love experiences, their first kisses and how exciting it was to send and receive romantic messages, while I felt increasingly unhappy and out of place. I didn't know what was wrong with me, but I was simply not attracted to any school kid and the worst thing is that nobody liked me. I felt that I would die alone and that my friends would stop meeting me for that reason. So I made the only decision I could see. Getting a boyfriend. I started using more makeup than I always wore. Then looking through all my clothes, I started to use only the clothes that best highlighted my body. My mom asked me if something happened to me, but I didn't want to tell her. The adults will never understand what we went through, so I decided it wasn't worth trying to explain anything. But the days passed, and I still did not achieve what I wanted so much. I was not even able to advance a little in my search. As I was trying to be perfect for the kids more and more, I became friends with Jessica, a girl who sees advanced literature with me. She didn't notice my changes, and every day she told me how good I looked, but that she missed the old me. I felt a strange emotion every time I spoke to her, and without realizing, I began to dress as before, without exaggerating at all, trying to please more that girl who had noticed the changes in me. We started going out more often, doing work together, occasionally going to the movies or to the park, or just staying late at home to talk nonsense. One day, I found myself thinking about Jessica and smiling like a fool. And suddenly, I lost my smile. Fear surrounded me and I thought I would cry. I was falling in love with my friend. I was very afraid to lose her because of these stupid feelings and I didn't know what to do. 
The days went by and I got sadder. Jessica realized and one day when the classes ended, she asked what was wrong with me. I explained in tears my feelings and I looked to the floor waiting for her to run. But on the contrary, she hugged me and said very short, I feel the same. And I knew that everything would be fine. Since then, I have stopped trying to be someone I am not because I realized that the most important thing is to be honest with myself. The hardest part of everything was the loneliness. So I think the best thing from now on will be looking for company in people who have been through the same or might need some advice. I invite you to leave in the comments that story you want to share with everyone. <laughs>